Right, so here's the graph of y equals x squared, which you should be familiar with. And here's the graph of y equals x squared plus 1. You can see it's very similar to the graph of y equals x squared, but every y coordinate is now 1 more than it was. 1 squared is 1, add 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4, add 1 is 5. 3 squared is 9, add 1 is 10. So putting a plus 1 at the end shifts the whole graph one unit upwards. And here's the graph of y equals x squared minus 3. And no real surprise to know that minus 3 shifts the whole thing down by 3. 0 squared, take away 3. 1 squared is 1, take away 3 is minus 2, and so on. So putting a minus 3 at the end shifts the whole graph down by 3. Now putting a minus sign in front of the x squared reflects the whole graph in the x-axis. So the graph is reflected, instead of 1 squared being plus 1, now it's uh, 1 squared, put a minus sign in front of that, that's minus 1. 2 squared is 4, but put a minus sign in front of it is minus 4. So putting a minus sign in front reflects the whole graph in the x-axis. Here's the graph of y equals minus x squared plus 3. The graph of uh, just y equals x squared plus 3 looks a little bit like this. So in order to draw the graph of minus x squared plus 3, reflect in the x-axis to get this graph here. Now we're looking at the graph of y equals x minus 1 all squared. This is the graph. It's a little bit surprising. If you take, for example, x equal to 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, square that is 0, that's why we've got 1 naught. If you take x equal to 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 squared is 1, so it's 2 along and 1 up, it's there. So this is the graph of y equals x minus 1 all squared. It's a little bit surprising um, because it's shifted one place to the right towards the positive numbers. It's tempting to think that this is the graph of y equals x plus 1 squared. But as I've just demonstrated uh, here, it isn't. This is the graph of y equals x minus 1 squared. So putting a minus 1 inside the brackets shifts the whole graph one place to the right. And so when we put an x plus 2 inside a bracket, the whole graph of y equals x squared shifts two places to the left. Again, a little bit surprising, but the plus 2 inside the bracket shifts it two places to the left towards the minus numbers. So in some ways it's the opposite of what you might expect. Now we've got the graph of y equals 2x squared. This is like the graph of y equals x squared, but every y value is doubled. That's what 2x squared means. It means get the x squared and double it. So 1 squared is 1, 2 times 1 squared is 2, so this point here is at 1, 2. Uh, let's take 2 squared is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, so this point here is 2, 8. So 2x squared doubles the whole graph. It, stretches it by a scale factor of 2 in the direction of the y-axis. So y equals 3x squared does the same, but this time it stretches it by a scale factor of 3. Now you may have seen the graph of y equals sine x before. Here is here's what it looks like. So here's the graph of y equals sine 2x. This is not the graph of y equals 2 sine x. That would be a scale factor 2 in the y direction. It's not that. It's sine 2x. What this does is squash the graph in by a scale factor of 2. Or you could say it stretches it by a scale factor of a half. So again, it's a little bit surprising. Let's just uh, check what happens here. We've got this point here, of that point there, x equals 90. So 2x equals 180, and the sine of 180 equals 0. You can check that in your calculator, um, and this shows that putting the 2x inside those brackets squashes it by a scale factor of 2, or stretches it by a scale factor of a half. And so when we get to y equals sine a half x, this is similar, but it stretches it by a scale factor of 2, or you could say squashes it by a scale factor of a half. And so the fact that the half x happens before it's signed means that we've got um, the opposite of what you expect. This doesn't halve it in the x direction, it doubles it in the x direction.